Just be fucking you. What's wrong with being you, bro? What's wrong with all those struggles you've been through, man? What's wrong with all these things that you've been through? What's wrong with the position you're in? Yeah, okay, you could have done better, right? Yeah, okay, you could be in a better position, but you ain't. And you haven't done those things. So what's fucking wrong with just being who you are right now? How the fuck are you expecting to navigate this world as a fake, as a phony, and understand why people test you, and understand why people doubt you, and understand why people pull you down? It's because you're fake. It's because they see it, man. And maybe you maybe you don't see it. But people see it. Especially if you look... The people you look up to are switched on, bro. The people you look up to and that you aspire to be like and have the things you want in life, they didn't get there by fucking accident. They're smart motherfuckers who know what it takes and know how to recognise that shit in people that they deal with. They see you, bro. And that's maybe why when you're reaching out to people and asking them, yo, can we work? Nah, they're not really into it. Why? Because you're not embracing you. Now, fair enough if you were to explain to that person, look, I'm not really in the position I want to be and blah, blah, blah. But most people want to pretend and act like they're on and act like they're killing her and all that shit. And I understand you, man. I, I'm, you're a fucking human being. You're a fucking human being and you want more in life. And you feel like, how can you get more in life in the position you're in? But that's the only way you're going to get more in life is embracing this position you're in so you can understand what you need to do to get out of it and people just don't do that they just want to live this level above where they're at but it don't work like that bro you've got to do the work right in front of you right now don't worry about next week's work bro don't worry about the week after that or any of that shit you've got to do today the work that is required today to get you out of your situation today stop trying to level up too soon You've got to get the experience. You've got to do whatever it takes to level up. You don't just get granted level ups. And one thing we've got to stop doing, folks, is blaming other people for our situations. We've got to stop doing that. It is not their fault. We know it's not their fault. And we know it's just a justification because it's hard to face the truth that it's our fault. It's hard to face the truth that I'm fucking up on a regular basis and I'm not strong enough to do whatever it takes to get out of this slump. That's a hard realisation to take. It's way easier for me to say it's because nobody supports me. It's way easier for me to say it's because of where I'm from. It's way easier for me to say that, you know, people just don't get me or I'm too deep for people, right? It's way easier to do that. It's fucking hard to look in the mirror and say, yo, you're flopping, bro. And you're a waste of space. You got all this time, these resources, these opportunities, the same everybody else had to start with, or most people had to start with, and you're still in a rut and you still ain't doing no shit about it. It's hard to embrace that shit, but you need to embrace that shit. You need to recognize yourself in the mirror. You can't look in the mirror and see some liar all your life and expect to get anywhere. You're looking in the mirror and you're seeing a liar and you've got to do something about that shit. You can't, you understand this, right? I'm hoping you, and this is coming from a place of, I know where I came from and I know the man I was before I started doing all this shit. I know the man I was before I achieved the results I have and managed to start building the income I have increasing gradually over time. Like I was the same thing. I was looking at a liar in the mirror every time I went in there and there was no way I could avoid it. I could blame this, I could blame that. I could come up with this excuse and that excuse, but deep down I knew that I was a piece of shit and that I was just blaming other people because it's hard to embrace the fact that I'm a piece of shit. And if you haven't done that yet, then you've got to do it, folks. You've got to do it. You've got to look yourself in the mirror and admit I'm a piece of shit. But I ain't going to be a piece of shit no more. From this fucking moment on, I'm not going to be a piece of shit no more. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm not going to blame nobody. I'll do this alone if I have to do it. If nobody will support me, I will do this alone. And that moment needs to happen for you. And that moment is the let's talk about it tomorrow or the day after that. That moment needs to happen right now, bro. I want you to turn this shit off. Go in the fucking mirror and tell yourself you're a piece of shit if you know you're a piece of shit. Tell yourself you're slacking if you know you're slacking. Tell yourself you need to do more if you need to do more. None of this bullshit trying to fake to everything like everything's okay because it ain't okay. If you ain't happy in your life, in your situation, it ain't okay. And it's even less, even, it is not okay to stay there. Right? Whatever's happened in your life that's brought you to this point, that's the past, whatever, we can't do shit about that. But if you're choosing to stay there in this moment in your life right now, fuck you. <laughs> that was a bit deep, right? But fuck you.
If you're choosing to stay a scumbag in your life, you're looking in the mirror and you're ignoring everything. If you know your situation is whack and you can do better, but you still want to cry and blame everyone else, fuck you. You do not deserve the feet you walk on. You do not deserve the oxygen in your lungs. Because people have died trying to do this shit. People have died trying to take their shit to the next level to provide more for their family. And it's harsh. But this is me communicating to you from a space where I know exactly where you are right now, right? Maybe not the small details like where you are actually geographically. Maybe I haven't been through the exact same situations in your life. But all I know is if we just make this black and white and we're talking about people who are happy and moving forward and people who aren't, I have been there, bro. I have been there and no one in this world can tell me I ain't been there because I've been there and if you're still there now just know you can make it out the other side but not with this complaining, not with this bitching, not with this moaning, not with this blaming, not with this, the, just embrace it today, embrace who you are today and do something about it today. I hope this video really makes a change in your life like really 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 makes a fucking change in your life and I'd appreciate if you could share it with people, of course like, share, Already said shit, comment, subscribe, don't get mad, get motivated and all that, but let that stress off your shoulders, take that weight off your shoulders today and just admit it, I'm fucked up and I don't know what to do, just admit it bro, blame yourself, because it is your fault, if you don't change your circumstance, it's your fault, but you need to be honest and you need to admit the person you are today, if you know it and you could, you, you can't duck that shit, don't matter what video you watch, what book you read, what anything, you know deep down who you are right? And if, if, if you don't like that, more for you for staying in that position for the rest of your life and wasting it. Don't get mad, get motivated, let's go.